It wasn't a dinosaur. It wasn't a fish. But it ruled the ancient oceans with a skull of dagger-like teeth and a body like a living torpedo. Mosasaurus, the closest thing nature ever gave us to a prehistoric sea dragon. Today, on Prehistoric Fact Files, we're diving into the depths to meet the marine monster that made the seas of the Cretaceous period an aquatic hellscape. It is estimated that there could be anywhere up to 70 different Mosasaur species, with over 40 different species confirmed so far, the largest of which being Mosasaurus hoffmanni. Mosasaurus means lizard of the Meuse River. Mosasaurus species lived anywhere between 82 to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period of the Mesozoic era. Location-wise, the species was actually very widespread, with fossils being found in Europe, North America, South America, Africa, and Antarctica. In terms of size, the largest specimen of Mosasaurus Hoffmanni measured up to 50 feet, which is 15 meters. Its weight was estimated to be somewhere within the region of 15 and 20 tons. Its diet was strictly carnivorous, being as it was an apex predator. Speed-wise, it was likely to be somewhere within the region of 30 to 40 kilometers an hour, which is 18 to 25 miles per hour. One fun fact is that it had two sets of teeth, one within its main jaw, and it also had a set of palatal teeth on the palate of the roof of its mouth. Another fun fact is that it's not a dinosaur, but it's a marine squamate, a relative of modern snakes and monitor lizards today. The very first Mosasaurus fossil was found in the Netherlands in 1764, within a chalk quarry near the city of Maastricht on the Meuse River, which is actually where it gets its name from. At the time of its discovery, nobody really knew what they were dealing with. Some thought that it was the remains of a crocodile, but it was officially misidentified to be the fossilised remains of a whale. Another skull was later found in 1780, which sparked further interest into these strange fossils. The remains were then studied closely by scientists, including a man named Petrus Camper, who identified it as a marine reptile. It was finally named in 1822 by Reverend William Daniel Cunnibear, who decided to name the creature after the river by which its initial fossils had been discovered. Mosasaurus had a long, streamlined body, like a cross between a Komodo dragon and a killer whale. Its tail was laterally flattened, which made it perfect for propulsion, allowing it for incredible bursts of speed through the ancient seas. Mosasaurus had evolved from land-dwelling ancestors. However, its limbs had become flippers as it adapted to its aquatic life beneath the waves. This wasn't a lumbering swimmer, it was fast, agile, and built for ambush speed. But the real nightmare was its head. Mosasaurus had a double hinged jaw and two sets of teeth, as mentioned. One on the upper jaw and another set on the roof of its mouth called palatal teeth. Once prey had been snatched in its jaws, there was no escape. The purpose of these palatal teeth was to latch onto and then drag deeper into the throat any prey that it caught. This is a mechanism similar to that seen today in modern snakes. Its teeth were sharp and conical, designed to pierce and hold rather than slice. This meant that it could swallow huge prey whole, turtles, ammonites, fish, and even other marine reptiles. Mosasaurus was the apex predator of the late Cretaceous oceans. It didn't just hunt, but it dominated. Fossilized stomach contents show remains of large fish, plesiosaurs, seabirds, and even other mosasaurs, suggesting cannibalistic hunting practices. It is likely to have used ambush tactics, lying in wait amongst rocky outcrops or reef walls before lunging forward with terrifying speed. Perhaps, similarly to sharks, it used a darker dorsal skin to blend in with the deeper waters below where it would strike from, catching its prey off guard. Some scientists believe it had pressure sensitive jaw pits, similar to that of crocodiles, that helped detect slight variations and movement within its surroundings. And get this, it didn't chew, as alluded to earlier. Like modern snakes, its jaw was incredibly flexible and would dislocate, allowing it to swallow prey whole, sometimes even larger than its own skull. If it lived today, it would make the great white shark look like a goldfish. In pop culture, most notably in Jurassic World, Mosasaurus is portrayed as a giant kaiju-level sea beast, snatching helicopters out of the sky and dragging sharks, dinosaurs, and hapless personal assistants into the depths. The real animal, however, was slightly smaller than its on-screen counterpart, but no less terrifying. The Jurassic World version exaggerates its size by about 50%. In reality, as we've already covered, the largest species, Mosasaurus hoffmanni, maxed out at around 50 to 55 feet, not the 80 plus feet that we see on screen. And it certainly couldn't leap 30 feet into the air, but it didn't need to. 
it was already the undisputed king of the sea. Mosasaurus is a perfect example of what happens when evolution gets aggressive. A lizard that became a leviathan, a creature that outswam, outhunted, and outlived its rivals until the end of Cretaceous extinction swept the seas clean. Next time on Prehistoric Fact Files, we return to land to meet a bizarre armor-plated herbivore with a brain the size of a lime and the tail that could shatter bones. Stegosaurus. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to unearth more ancient secrets one creature at a time. Also be sure to leave a comment letting us know which prehistoric creature you want us to cover next. Until then, stay curious.